Hey, what's going on everyone? I hope all of you guys are doing well. So this is going to be my review for Scary Movie 2. Um, Scary Movie 2, I would consider to be probably the best sequel out of the entire franchise. And that's just my personal taste. Now, this film, pretty much Anna Faris. Uh, Sean and Marlon Waynes do return as well as Regina Hall. And then we have some newcomers like uh, Tim Curry, of all people. You have uh, a couple of familiar faces. I believe the actor's name is Chris Elliott. Um, I might be wrong on that, but he's in Cabin Boy. He plays the cameraman in um, uh, Groundhog Day. You have the actor from Toy Soldiers and uh, the Alvin and the Chipmunks movies. And then you have um, the actor who plays Francis in Malcolm in the Middle. He's in this. Uh, you do get a small cameo from Beetlejuice. Not the Michael Keaton Beetlejuice, but Beetlejuice from the Howard Stern Show. He has a small little cameo in this. Um, and there's just a few other things here and there. Now, the main focus on, like, the films that they mainly focus on spoofing are The Haunting. Uh, if you're not familiar with The Haunting, that is the film with Liam Neeson, Catherine Zeta-Jones, and Owen Wilson. It's actually the film where he broke his nose, and that would eventually become his, like, iconic uh, look. And then they also end up uh, going with, uh, I believe it's House on Haunted Hill. You kind of get that spoof going as well as 13 Ghosts. Um, and then for some odd, weird reason, they decided to spoof Charlie's Angels. I'm not sure why. I think at the time of it, of its release, Charlie's Angels, uh, the first film, I think, was just coming out. But why they went in that direction is beyond me um but if you've seen any of those movies you kind of get the idea of what this film's going to be about they kind of blend everything into one uh i do want to mention you do get tori spelling in this as well <clears throat> and you also get the actor from night court he was in 100 deeds of eddie mcdowd um and there's a few other stuff he's been in unfortunately he passed away i think last year or the year before um but he's another actor who's well recognizable. Um, and this movie is just over the top, of course. Um, Anna Ferris is great. The Wayne's brothers are great. I think everybody in this film are fantastic. And I do believe Keenan Ivory Waynes did return to write the script as well as direct, I believe. And you, um, you do have a great performance by, I believe it's Chris Elliott, um, playing the butler with a really small, weird, deformed hand. Um, this movie I consider to be extremely quotable. Um, some of the best scenes are the dining scene, where the butler kind of pretty much ruins the meal for them, gets really freaky with a turkey. And then uh, we have the parrot in this film. Um, the the well not i don't know what kind of bird it is it's not a parrot but they kind of are spoofing polly the movie polly um and yeah the mo the the interaction with the characters and the bird are extremely funny and messed up at the same time but i like some of the scenes between um the butler and one of the characters who's in a wheelchair uh they they really like fun at each other like there's one scene where uh he'll he tells the butler hey i'll give you a hand or you know and the butler's like well you know i'm gonna be as they're arguing he's like i'm gonna be the bigger man and walk away or at the dining scene he's like i know what you want you want a leg how about two so it is extremely ridiculous and crazy and funny all at the same time there's one scene with ray the character of ray played by um uh, uh Sean and uh, yeah, if you guys they, and Poltergeist is another one they make fun of. Uh, you know that's the scene with uh, Marlon, or not Marlon? It's the one with Sean and the and the uh, and the clown doll. Yeah, I'm not gonna get into detail on that because I do not want to get a strike. But you guys know exactly what I'm talking about.
But nonetheless, you do get certain moments that kind of are like rehashes from the first movie. Um, but at the same time, you get all these different things going on. And Tim Curry's great. Um, I've always been a fan of Tim Curry. He's really what got me into cinema, just the way his performances are, whether that's, you know, doing films where he's in front of the camera or his voiceover work. I mean, he is truly a, a treasure in American and British uh, film. I just... There's something about him that he brings to every character, and I love it. And he's really what inspired me. He is it, pretty much he is a idol. Um, and you know, it, it's unfortunate and sad that he suffered, you know, a stroke. And but it hasn't stopped him. He's doing what he continues to do. Unfortunately, I don't think he's acting. I think the last thing he did might have been the TV special Rocky Horror that they did. That Fox was having this ongoing theme of doing like live specials of popular movies because they did like Grease and a few other ones. So I know he's doing that and I know he's doing conventions, but other than that, I don't think he's doing anything else. Um, but yeah, he's great in this. It's always great to see him in anything. Um, but yeah, Scary Movie 2 is just one of those sequels I find to be quotable, entertaining from beginning to end. And just, I think it makes you laugh a lot more than say the first Scary Movie. So yeah, that's going to be my review for it. It's short and simple, but if you guys have seen Scary Movie 2, I would love to know what your opinion is on it. What is your favorite quote? Do you guys have a, like a favorite scene, a favorite quote from that movie? Um, I would love to hear it. And uh, yeah, so uh, if you enjoyed my review, give it a thumbs up. Uh, we will be getting into part three uh, tomorrow. Uh, part three. To be honest with you guys, just to give you guys a quick little glimpse, I'm going to say Regina Hall and um, Anna Ferris couldn't even save this movie. So uh, with that being said, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content. I'm Film Talk with Mike. And until next time, we'll talk films. Remember, to grab your strong hand.